is Fab Janet and I'm back with kind of like um, initial review of uh, some flat irons yeah I said flat irons that I got uh, from TJ Maxx uh, thanks to you lovely ladies on YouTube you lovely people on YouTube recommended that I go to TJ Maxx Marshalls Ross etc to go look for flat iron versus going to Walmart I did return that and this Walmart uh, flat iron uh, had no problems real quick was very happy about that so uh, yeah Walmart's banging for that thanks Walmart for not giving me a hard time it was a defective product and it was just crazy how it smelled like it was about to explode anyway I go and bite the bullet this will be probably the last time I ever buy a flat iron until they First break I'm gonna show you um, is they're both absolute heat Jet Set IPS series. This is what the side looks like. Oops. Turn that like this. This is what the front looks like. Now here's the back. My daughter liked the pink. I picked the pink. Uh, the box, the packaging on this is phenomenal. It is the best I've seen on any flat iron. On flat iron. Also comes with a travel one, which heats up to 450 degrees. This is really good, especially if you're trying to catch your edges. Uh, my naturals know what I'm talking about about that, and this is just really, really pretty. I'm gonna give you a close up of that one, um, and the clip is really fantastic. Works very well with my hair. This is uh, ceramic plated or infused with black tourmaline heat up very nicely uh, it's not even recommend letting it heat up for a minute or two minutes to really let it evenly disperse throughout the, uh, the plates because this is a very this is a heavier plate and it's a heavier material and I noticed that it works best when it's heated up for at least two minutes and then that's just me personally. You can use it 30 minutes later. It, it only takes sir, 30 minutes, 30 seconds later. It only takes 30 seconds to a minute for it to heat up, and that's okay with me. Uh, the grips on here are just fantastic. The packaging is great. Comes with this warranty here, and they also have a website which I'll post down below. I paid. 35 bucks for this but they had other ones that were just as comparable for $30 it's just I'm paying the extra five dollars for the clip and the little flat iron which I thought was great so I got this I used it the other day it didn't get my hair as straight as I wanted and that's not due to the product this product is amazing I'm not getting paid to say this or anything like that it is amazing I tried four flat irons and they're mostly like you know uh, drugstore flat irons this just went glided down my hair real smooth heated up evenly it didn't snag it was one of the best flat irons I've ever had or ever used so I have extremely coarse hair and uh, I should have used less products and what I mean by that is less heat heat protective products I kind of went overboard because I didn't want to fry my hair this didn't even scare me of frying my hair it, it did so well and I'm talking about I did maybe two or three passes and it was on 350 to 375 and it got it straight but not like it was still kind of poofy solid titanium plates okay this is what the front looks like the back and the side right and this was $35 so um, this is what the inside looks like very same as the other one uh, I think the wording is a little different it says heat pro ion so it has uh, the ionization going on which distributes through the plates better this one does too but uh, this one kind of emphasizes it a little bit more really nice packaging again just like the pink one uh, very very uh, pretty so uh, and the plates are extremely shiny and I'll have close-ups for you on that too this damn thing is the business I like this one better it the pink one's a little more medium it's lighter 
and I noticed that it heated up a little bit faster. It didn't take as long for the plates to warm up and uh, it got my hair. It was so smooth that it just glided a lot better. It's just, it was just like, uh, my hair nothing this one didn't but this one seemed like it glided a lot faster I didn't have to use as many passes I did go a little bit higher in heat on this one I went to about 375 this one was 350 this one was 375 close to 400 I really should have used 400 or 425 on my hair because again my hair is very coarse it's a trial and error type of thing you know I'm learning how to flat iron my hair, learning what's working best for me, learning about how to balance the right amount of products and protecting my hair and all that other stuff. So it got pretty straight. It, um, it here still kind of gives me a little, the front is sleek. I will have pictures, you know, I still kind of, you know, grabs. You see me kind of snagging my hair a little. That's kind of my trouble area, especially right here. But. The business. I'll just show you. There. Yeah. Uh, another two to three weeks, I'll post a video. I will, I'm going to do a different technique on my hair. I will use the titanium one. And then uh, I'm going to use not as much product. And I'm not going to swipe as much, but I am going to increase the heat. So that way I can swipe it just one time. Or maybe two. And it'd be straight, you know. So it's good for now. This is the straightest it's been since I've had it professionally done. Um, I did blow dry, I did clean, condition, over condition, triple condition my hair before I did anything. I went through the proper steps. It takes forever so I can understand why my beautician charges what she charges because it's a lot to get this straight. So yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I will have the Absolute Heat direct link below. I will have, the I think they do sell on Amazon and on eBay check out your local TJ Maxx because when I went back for the titanium one the shells were almost literally bare close to being bare and I was like my goodness I was, wasn't gone that long so anyway uh, rate comment subscribe and I'll talk to you later bye